Yo, 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 what's going on Team Tweety? I hope you guys are all super well. This video, I want to keep it pretty raw and talk about sort of my transformation. I was, you'll see it in a vlog in a couple of days. I was with Sam in the gym yesterday and we were talking about how sort of like three years ago when I started this video, this vlog journey, I was tiny. My muscles on my bicep were like a minuscule. I had nothing. And so I kind of want to talk with you guys about why I think I've transformed and what I've done to transform my body. Man, two things. Number one, I'm no expert. I'm absolutely no expert. And number two, I'm nowhere near my end goal. Yes, I've built a bit of an upper body right now and I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna keep building it, get stronger, but I'm, I'm not an expert in this field. I'm not a personal trainer. I just wanna, ex like, what I want from this video is someone who, like, if you guys are in the same situation, I want you to be able to relate with me because I was there as well. I didn't study hours and hours of this sort of stuff. I just did a few things here and there and maybe changed up a few things and that's kind of where I want this video to go. I'm not gonna give you this detailed analysis of why this worked, why that didn't work. It's just, I don't know that sort of stuff. So there's three things that I believe have contributed to really building a good upper body. Obviously I can't work legs right now because of my meniscus, but the, there's two most important things. Number one, and I'll put this to like 100% number one, is consistency in the gym. Being consistent in the gym is super, super important. Making sure that you're always pushing yourself to go above and beyond. So many times when I was doing my bench press back in the day, I was stuck at 60 kilos. And I'd do 60 kilos, I'd do five by five, and that'd be my session. I'd come back a few days later, do 60 kilos, five by five, and I never really broke that. I ended up getting about 65 before my injury, now I'm up to 77 and a half, and I've done that consecutively two sessions in a row. I'm going to progressively overload myself. So I'll go up to 80 kilos. I have a session today. I'll go up to 80 kilos with that and see how I go. So it's so important. Be consistent because that's what's going to allow you to overload your body. Essentially, you need to progressively overload your muscles and you need to tear down your muscles to then build them back up. And by going consistently, you're going to get stronger, you're going to be able to lift heavier weight, and that's kind of where you're going to see a bit of that transformation. So that's my number one tip, super, super important. So write a schedule, whatever you need to do. I've got a pretty easy one right now because I'm not, really, I'm not doing a whole lot. So I just go push, pull, rest, push, pull, rest. And then if I think I need an extra rest, rest day, I'll go push, pull, rest, rest, push, pull, and it just depends on how my body feels. Consistency is so, so important, man. I've found that through all these years where I've been going to the gym, and over these sort of past couple of months, I've been really consistent with it and always pushing myself to go above and beyond and get that higher weight, get that extra rep, and I'm really seeing the results. And yes, by no means, I'm not a completed physique. I'm just giving you guys my little experience with it. Number two is food. And this is almost as important as that, but not quite. If you're looking to put on weight or if you're looking to lose weight, it's a simple equation. Very, very simple. If you're looking to lose weight, you need to be in a caloric deficit, which means if you burn, like uh, that's why sometimes I have a Fitbit on and I can track how many calories I burn through the day. If I end up burning 2,500 calories and let's say I wanted to lose weight, I just need to eat about 2,300 to 2,400 calories. If you go over that, that means you're in a caloric surplus and if you're trying to lose weight, that's not good. Uh, so that's really good for cutting. That's good for sort of like shredding and like just losing body fat. But if you're looking to put on weight, and that's something that I was looking to do, and while you're bulking up, it's important to kind of assess your diet. So I changed up my breakfast. I was only having sort of like three eggs in the morning. Now I'm having 800 calories with a ton of protein, good fats, uh, good carbs. And then I've also changed up like what I eat during the day, what I eat during at night, and making sure that if I'm burning, and that's why I say having a Fitbit or something that can track how many calories you lose during the day is so good, because you can kind of go at the end of the night, if it's like eight o'clock or so, and you're like, oh geez, I've eaten 2,400 calories here, I've burned 2,400 calories, I just need to eat something that has 200 calories in it, that's something you can do as well. So food is really important if you're looking to put on weight. I remember maybe years ago, like I would go to the gym and my diet was not where it needed to be. Yes, you can be consistent. You need to match these two things together. You can be consistent going to the gym, but your nutrition it sucks and you won't put on the weight or you won't lose the weight. That's really, really important. But 
assess your at what foods you're eating when you're eating maybe one thing i did in the beginning was set a timer for sort of like every three hours to at least have a snack or remind myself all right we need to eat we need to have water whatever it is and then to finish off the last thing and i'm not recommending this do your own research speak to a doctor speak to a professional but i've been taking creatine so how i've been doing it is i do five grams on the days that i go to the gym and then on my rest days i take two grams of it just mix it with water uh, I find it's helped me just build up some muscle and build up a bit of weight it holds on to some water I don't know a whole lot about it. I don't know all the details I did a base level of research and thought it was a good product and look I'm pretty happy with it I think it's definitely helped me progress a little bit so that's something as well that if you're interested you can do like do your own research on it it may not be for everyone. I feel like for me it's built me up a little bit, made me a bit bigger in here, just where I've been working my body. But yeah, again, it might not be for everybody. Speak with your doctor, speak with whoever you need to speak with and kind of assess whether it's right for you. So does that mean you need to take creatine? Man, no way. I would just put that as, yeah, it's helped a little bit, but at the end of the day, it comes down to how consistent you are at the gym and the foods that you eat. Always progressive overload yourself. It's That's kind of what I found just doing that extra rep or adding that extra two and a half kilos on each week and making sure that you're finishing the reps, finishing the sets, going consistently, not just going two times in the week, going missing the rest of the week. Consistency is key. So I'm gonna end the video there. I, look, I'm not good. This is not a scientific thing that's gonna say, do this, this, and this, and this is gonna work for you. This is just kind of my opinion on what I've found has started to work for me. I'm not an end product. I don't have the perfect physique but I feel like I'm progressing in the right direction and maybe can help some of you guys go and do your own research. Go and talk with some other people and get you on that right track. That's what I want from this video. I want you guys to go out there and if you were someone like me who is a little bit skinny, putting, trying to put on a bit more weight, maybe we can relate and that gives you that sort of push to go out there and put on some muscle and bulk up a little bit if that's what you're looking to do. So, Tintuit, I'm signing out. Make sure you like on the series. Subscribe and enjoy. Jenny, I'll see you next video. Bye.